So basically this blue rail here, you see that? So this ground has to go to that blue rail, and then the next one will be Echo. These students are engaging with engineers through a unique program called NSBE. NSBE is an acronym for the National Society of Black Engineers. It's an organization that's dedicated to it, uh, increasing the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the black community. And I wasn't exposed to STEM and what it could do for me until I was already in college. So I really hope that you guys take these experiences and these sessions and really work with them and see if this is right for you. Um, but learn something at least. These kids are engaging with technology and products of engineering continuously, every day. It directs our lives. Having these students have a, uh, a better understanding of what they're interacting with from an early age is going to help improve their academics and help them understand what's to come. Who's excited for today? Nesby was started in 1975 by six engineering students at Purdue University. There had been various groups of black engineering students all around the country that existed independently. They would bring all of these engineers together to create the National Society of Black Engineers. Today, NSBE now includes more than 500 chapters and nearly 16,000 active members in the U.S. and abroad. NSBE chapters include collegiate, professional, and pre-collegiate members, with 11 NSBE junior chapters throughout California. What, what's the difference between speed and velocity? I work with recruiting professionals in Silicon Valley, the East Bay, Nesby Junior Chapter. And what we do is we work with delivering STEM to these students from second grade to 12th grade. Primarily, the program is all facilitated by what we call coaches, who are all professional engineers and are college engineering students. Nesby chapters hold programs throughout the school year, including weekends, over the summer, and after school. For this chapter, meeting at Pittsburgh High School, class starts bright and early Saturday morning. First law again. You have to the rest stays at rest, and I'm talking motion stays in motion, unless, in the same speed, in the same direction, unless acted upon by an imbalanced force. Yeah! That's gonna be so excited about physics! I love it! Most of the classes that are taught here at Nesby, the kids are learning scientific inquiry, the engineering process, presentations. They're learning skills that are transferable to any career or, or any class that they have. So now both of you guys are going to work together and you're actually going to build this. This is the propulsion system we're working on right now. Nesby is not meant to replace what's happening in the classroom. Instead, it supplements what students are being taught. One, two, oh. There's certain um, uh, aspects of classroom learning that can be mundane to a student, particularly a student who's highly bright and highly active and may not want to pay attention all the time. Uh, but you take that same student and give them something to build or something to construct or something to, to enact, uh, that student then gets motivated. Nesby helps to stimulate and reinforce the opportunities that are in reach to students through the study of engineering, teaching students to think for themselves. My son is the light of my world, and I wanted him to be part of Nesby for multiple reasons. I wanted him to be part of an organization that esteemed education, that made it normal to be smart, and that made it fun to be smart and to be black. So our goal was to like very little material to make it go higher. We can see, um, you know, athletes and entertainers and even doctors and lawyers on television and in media. We don't often see engineers, scientists, or STEM professionals depicted in, in any popular media. I think the programs like NSBE will be necessary uh, until we reach parity, until this underrepresentation is no longer a thing. And uh, when the numbers of African American and uh, African diaspora engineers uh, are at the same levels as the population, then we won't need to talk about this anymore. We've made a lot of progress, certainly, but we've got a long way to go. Who can tell me what the difference between 
average speed and instantaneous speed is? Caleb. Average speed is your speed over a whole length of time, and instantaneous speed is the speed at a certain moment. Yes, perfect. I see the successes. I see the kids graduating from college. I see the parents being proud of their children because they've succeeded in something. All right. The reward to me is now being able to be a product of Nesby, be a product of my community, and then also help out additional communities. Supporters say it's not realistic to expect that every student exposed to Nesby will become an engineer, but they say programs like these provide a foundation to build on for the future. I would tell parents to give your son or daughter a chance and let them be exposed to this. You may decide or they may decide that it's not for them, but uh, I'm a parent myself and I, my uh, philosophy has always been to expose my daughters to as much as possible and let them chart their own path after that. On the count of three, one, two, two. If you drive on roads or use electronic devices, you can thank an engineer. Engineers play key roles in creating all kinds of structures and products, from airports to bridges, from home appliances to farm machinery. Tens of thousands of engineering jobs are expected to open in the coming decade with a median salary of $91,000 a year.